So how do you actually find your passion? So, you know, a lot of people get told, do what you love, find the passion that you love and do more of it and you'll make money. But I understand how it feels when you actually don't know what you're passionate about. So in this video, I'm going to help you find your passion. So hi everybody, for you guys who are new to this channel, I'm Lynn Panetti and I'm a mother of three and an entrepreneur and I'm here to help you achieve time and financial freedom. So before I go on though, I would love for your help in subscribing to my channel so you'll be notified about my video every single week. And uh, yeah, I'd love to add value to you. So let me know if you, there are any topics that you want to um, get me to do videos about. And also, as I go through some tips with you, feel free to write in the comments below the notes that you actually are receiving from me because often when we're not actually writing things down, you know, it goes from one ear to the other and we don't actually remember the content that we receive. So write in the comments below anything that you're learning from my video. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so step one is to figure out what are the things that you spend most of your time doing. Um, you know, are you into arts? Are you into sports? Like, what do you actually enjoy doing? And if you're not sure, think about this free time that you have whenever you're free, whenever you're with friends, whenever you, um, yeah, are on weekends, like, what do you actually do? And if you're still unsure, maybe ask someone, what do you think I like? What do you think I'm passionate about? What do you think I'm good at? Because sometimes, you know, it's right under our nose, but we can't see what we're passionate about. So, you know, with me, when I um, I started my business and I sort of stumbled into outsourcing and, um, you know, I remember trying to find out what I'm good at, what my niche was. And it was only until someone invited me to an outsourcing workshop or panel, an interview and said, you know, can I interview you about outsourcing? After I went through that, I came home and go, oh my God, I'm actually good at outsourcing. But I actually just didn't realize. I just thought I was just good at starting a business and, you know, doing some website projects. But what I was really good at was outsourcing it. But someone else saw that in me. So try to ask other people if you're not sure what you're actually good at. And the next thing you need to think about is what are you like as a person? You know, I remember I mean, it was sort of inevitable that I got into recruitment and I enjoy recruitment because I remember when I was working in my nine to five job corporate, I was in supply chain management. And so I all I spent my time doing was like contracts and data entry and doing just really boring stuff. But whenever I was doing some extra curriculum in the, the organization, I had a lot of fun whenever I'm around people. And um, when, I, when I was looking for another job, um, a recruitment company said, do you want to be a recruiter? Because they saw that thing in me that really suited the people side, you know, the, like I'm good with people. And I remember wanting to just change my career into, a, into recruitment. But unfortunately in the corporate world, you need to have this degree and the, the qualifications to do that. But I knew at that time in terms of the kind of work that I want to do, like I knew I wanted to work with people, right? It's not that I want it to be on my own or anything like that. So I want you to ask yourself, like, where do you thrive in? What do you actually, what gives you the most energy, the most adrenaline? You know, is it when you're around people, when you're helping people, when you're talking or when you're uh, doing some kind of thing? So just think about in what environment are you at? Like what your personality is like, what your attitude's like, because the more you understand yourself, um, and then the, the first step that I said was what you enjoy, you're passionate doing, those two things really do help you sort of guide you in the right direction. Because if I was, there's no way I could be a web developer because I, there's, you know, I just can't stand sitting there doing codes because I'm not a numbers person or attention to detail kind of person. I'm more of a people person. So it does filter down to, to, um, to and, and help you guide in the right direction. Now the next step is just trying it out. So you might still be in an early stage where you haven't tried many jobs or many things and you just feel like you're not passionate about anything. Try it out. You will only know when you've tried things out and it's through that process will you be able to figure out things that you don't like, leaving you the things that you do like. And if you do have a passion for multiple things, give something a go. You can give multiple things a go. I mean, life is still, um, you know, such a long open canvas for you to be able to experiment with things. You don't feel like you need to find your ultimate passion tomorrow. It's like, I only found my passion through years and years of trying different jobs, doing different things, starting a business in different areas and fields. Like, you know, 
agency services and marketing or outsourcing isn't my only business i remember starting a selling phone numbers special phone numbers one i remember creating a website for building quotes you know um world famous quotes and things and or find a life coach business so i came up with all these ideas and i tried out and i thought no nah, i don't really like it so it's through just executing and trying it out are you able to really figure out what you're more passionate about so so when i started my nail polish business I realized I was not passionate at nails. Sure, I, it gave me the experience of starting a business and getting my marketing up, but I hated you know, worrying about nails. I'm just, I would never just sit there and talk about nails. It's not my passion. And that's what really made me demotivated and, and depressed about running the business because I didn't really like it. But I don't regret it because I still went ahead with it and realized that I learned and liked the marketing side. I just don't like the nail polish. So. It, unless you actually execute and take action, will you be able to find your passion? Now, finally, step four is just giving something a long go. So what I mean by that is I wouldn't be able to succeed in my outsourcing business or recruitment business if I didn't give it my all for this many years. So, you know, the total number of years that I've been in the outsourcing world is almost 10 years. I've been in the, like this recruitment business for like four years. You know, unless you, you know, really um, dive into it and learn as you go and continue, you know, refining your knowledge and experiences and, and, and mistakes and stuff, you won't build that passion. Like the first few years in business, I was passionate about business, but I didn't uh, fall in love with it until years later when I went to the Philippines and saw that my work was actually helping to reduce poverty in the Philippines. You know, my staff were still living in provinces and they had to use the, the even though their, their salary is higher, they still had to look after their family. And when I got there, I really saw with my own eyes how bad the traffic was and, and their living standards were still with that high income. I realized that um, I was actually making a difference to people's lives. And because of that, I fell in love with the business more. So through the time that I spent in the business, I kept you know, learning more about myself, what I'm passionate about, what I love, and you, know, you just become more in love with what you do. So those are my tips for how to find your passion. Now in the comments below, let me know what are your passions. I would love to hear from you. What are you passionate about? And if, um, yeah, like I said, if you have questions about those passions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like my video, please put a thumbs up. And if you would like to support me, then um, subscribe to my channel to be notified about my next video.